this lesson, we are going to help you set up your domain and support email. So you can receive mails in Autotask as tickets and also send mails from your own support mail address. How we're going to do is we can go to this hamburger menu, click on admin, and we can expand application wide shared features. When we've done that, domain settings right here will be visible. When we click on it, you can see several domains. The first two domains are system domains indicated right here, and they're always there. They're for autotask.com and deto.com. Underneath are your own domains. So we have different .nl, and you will have your own do domain.com. So when you go to the hamburger menu, click on authentication details, several lines of information will become visible. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to log in to your domain register and add an SPF record right here and also add a CNAME record indicated right here and right here. When you've done both, you can click on Authenticate Domain right here and underneath, under Domain Authenticated, a timestamp will become visible with the date and time. You can click on OK and go back to the previous menu right here. We can collapse application-wide shared features and expand service desk tickets. When we click on it, several things will become visible. We have to go to the support email address right here and click on it. You can add your own support email address right here and change the send from name to your own company name. You can click on save and close and go back to the previous menu. We can collapse service desk tickets and go back to application wide shared features again, right here and expand it. And we will go to the incoming email processing right here. When we click on it, you will get to this screen. As you can see, we've already set up support incoming email processing, but for you, it will be new. So you can click on new. And when you do that, a new screen will become visible. You can add support right here and also add support underneath under mailbox email. As you can see, after we've added support, a new email will become visible. You will have to forward your mails from your Office 365 support mail address to this mail address. You can set it up and after you've done that, you can click on save and close. I will click on cancel and you can, you will, uh, you can test uh, if, if sending an email to your support address will become visible in Autotask. If you go to, to this uh, icon right here and go to workspaces and queues, you can see if a new ticket will become visible in the client portal right here. After you've done that, we're done with this lesson and we will explain the rest of the setup for the incoming mail processor in a later video.